Welcome to the man cave. It's a hundred degrees outside. So I'm not I'm gonna do this inside here. YouTube is telling me that they're gonna uh, take down my channel unless I post some more videos. So what I've done, just so you know, uh, on my KTM 690, let's take a look. Uh, some two new things that I think are worth talking about. Um, and I'll get these posted be before I expand on it. Uh, one is, you know, so I got a little bit more orange here. By the way, if you go to a KTM Adventure Rally, you get one of these little cozies. And I use one of those things all the time, every day, uh, to carry my Starbucks coffee cup in. So, um, orange is good. So, what I have here is a Moscow Moto uh, tank bag. So, this, this guy is really trick. I replaced it. Um, I used to have the Wolfman. That's just this guy right here. Now that served my purposes really well for many years. Um, and it's what Deacon, um, it's a little hard to talk about that, but you guys remember Deacon Teller over? He's right here. Um, he would rest his torso on it, and then he'd, I'd have some saddle bags for his, uh, his, his feet. And then he would have a platform on the top here that um, he would put his front paws on. And that would allow me then to see uh, my, my trail tech, which I used as a speedometer, since Deacon was always blocking the... Uh, let's go ahead and turn things on. Deacon was always blocking my speedometer. And um, so the trail tech served two purposes. It gave me a GPS and um, and in the, uh, by the same token also gave me a um, RPM gauge and a speedometer and some other cool things. Oops, I gotta flip the switches on it. There we go. Well, you see it had the, the uh, my Trail Tech Voyager Pro had my speedometer also has the uh, tachometer uh, It'll have the outside temperature as well as the engine temperature. And uh, so it's, it's wonderful. Um, I had a, a Garmin GPS and, um, and, I, and I put on this uh, huge rock display. Now, let me get back to the, the Moscow Moto. The really nice thing about this is, you know, with Again, you know, Deacon's not here anymore, but so now I've lost 50 pounds off my bike uh, without Deacon being on board. So that means I can, you know, the overall bike is lighter. But this thing is waterproof and it's real easy to get into. The other one was, was always a problem. Um, the uh, Wolfman, because I had to unzip it, and, you know, put things in and, uh, and it, they kind of crushed because it wasn't very hard. This thing is very sturdy, sits straight up. You can stuff it with things, you know, right now I've got nothing in it. I'm going on a ride at the end of the month, but um, so I, I like this a lot. My buddy Ron Sutton bought one at the last KTM Adventure Rally. Um, I keep my registration materials up here, but, I'll be, but it, it's easy to get my gloves in and out. And if I want to put my camera and stuff in there, I can do that. It's just one latch. And then, and then we're off and running. Oops, doing this one-handed. So that's good. All right, uh, back to the huge rock. Um, this is a tablet. It's got a, a seven-inch tablet on it, and I actually gave it its own phone number, so it has a SIM card in it, and I can receive messages while I ride and send messages. I cannot talk on the phone, but it's only $5 more a month uh, through T-Mobile uh, to use it with a SIM card. Uh, but this, obviously, uh, we're able to do things like Google Maps and, um, let's see, where's my Google Maps? Uh, you got Reaver, Netflix, uh, DVD, what, I don't know what to Oh, man, I'm a little confused. I'm tired this morning. 
Uh, this this guy is kind of fun. Uh, so if you're running rallies, you've got these modes here to give you turn by turn descriptions, and if you it's like a road book. And uh, so you can s subscribe to that on it. Um, and it'll also give your speed. And, and if you have a, a um, uh, OBD2 uh, sent, uh, module that you attach under the seat here, then it'll tell you your um, engine temperature and other error codes and stuff like that. So back to home. Uh, there we go. Where's the Google Maps? Okay, that's pictures. Where's my maps? Alright, let's just do it the long way. Yeah, I'll probably have to cut out some of this stuff, huh? Uh, I mean, you can you can see my YouTube channel right there. So I need to add some stuff on here so I don't get in trouble with the YouTube creators. Uh, back to home. Uh, so the map icon. Well, I'm gonna have to figure that out here in a second. pictures we don't really care anyway it works like a regular tablet so um, and I've modified it you'll see it, it's got uh, this is the power that's right here and um, that's going to the tablet and but there's you can also plug it in using a, a USB C port and um, on the bottom and and they have different adapters for it, which I'll show in a separate video. And if you loosen this uh, screw right here, you can just lift it up. Of course, you got to take the power off, right? Just like that, all right? So you can take it off and take it into the motel room with you and then put it back on the, for the following morning ride. Loosened it too much. Sorry, what? Just take the pictures of this scratch. The pictures are huh. This is funny. Looks like we've hit a YouTube video. Alright, I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, I guess I'm having trouble figuring out the the tablet anyway is getting the Google Maps icon to show up but the thing I wanted to show off in this huge rock is that it has a brightness of a 24 nit screen if you see it's almost really too bright for indoors um, where I'm at right now as compared to my pixel 6 that's that's sitting here now the pixel 6 has like 800 nits and this is 2400 nits so it's it really pops out and uh, in bright sunlight, you can this you you can't hardly read the Google Six or the Pixel Six unless you get in the shade. But with the um, but it doesn't matter with a huge rock. It's it's like right in your face. Uh, it's 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 very bright. Now also let me go over to the Voyager Pro, which used to be the brightest of the. Um, there you go. Uh, the brightest of the screens that were out there. I think it had like 1,200 nits. So you'll see that it uh, doesn't uh, quite compare as much as the um, as 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 the huge rock. So I I I'm I've actually got uh, I mean something like uh, one terabyte or something in it. No, anyway. 128 megabyte. I'll have to go double check what the spec is. Um, I'm really kind of blowing this whole video, but just bear with me. It's um, so I think 
Uh, anyway, that's the main two changes uh, that I've done to the bike. Um, I'm debating about whether or not get, to get rid of the Wolfman bags and and go to a uh, uh, go to hard aluminum panniers. So if you have, guys have any comments on that, let me know. Um, I'm carrying some extra fuel here, but I don't like that. I normally will take this off and I'll put it on top of the bag. Uh, I don't like anything over the back here because I want to be able to swing my leg over it without it being on the stand. And that's about it. Uh, this thing is ready to go on my next trip at the end of the month with a bunch of uh, ex-veterans and we'll talk about issues that we have from going to war. Anyway, um, that's that. And I just, um, so it, um, I just have to make sure I don't fall down. Anyway, that's the different changes to the uh, uh, my KTM 690. It's a 2019, in case you guys haven't been following along. So, anyway, back to this guy. Uh, let me let me go show you a couple other things. I mean, you've got um, again. I don't know why my Google Maps icon isn't showing up, but I got Waze installed. So, if you wanted to, you could use that. You know, um, and then by the same token, uh, you could run Reaver. There you go. And this is a. Uh, by the way, all going through my phone. Uh, I'm not using a uh, Wi-Fi for this. The the other uh, what would be another mapping? Oh yeah, O S M A N D. Okay, not now. All right, there's another map that looks nice. So. So many options, and, um, and again, also I can I can check my messages. So we'll keep on going. So I don't know why I've got this message here. Oh, that's from March 21st, so it hasn't uh, been updated. Anyway, and. Uh, so you can send me messages on here. I was going to my buddy Ron. All right. So it's just everything that this can do, this can do, and more. I can watch Netflix. So that's about it. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll take a. I'll, I'll pop a video on here and just so I can keep the YouTube police from shutting down or demonetizing my, my channel. So um, thanks for watching all the other videos. And if you have recommendations, I was thinking about taking some of my three hour videos and, um, and turning those into small 15 minute videos and posting those like going around uh, White Rim Trail and that sort of stuff. Um, but these things over here are taking a lot of my time. You can't, I don't know if you can tell, but those are slide rolls. And I'm a curator of a slide rule museum. And I need, to, I need to log all those things. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you miss Deacon as much as I do. And um, we'll talk to you later.